What's going on, everybody? We're here with another diecast review, and on this diecast review, we're gonna be doing the I guess you could say the 2024, but these are the 2023 Darlington throwback cars, which just came out last week, I believe. Luckily, our Walmart actually had them. I wasn't guaranteed to even get them. I'm glad I was because this is just a bonus wave. It's not really a wave because I think they have wave one through 11 as of doing this video. 1 through 11 for the 2023, so they just released the last three. I think it should be the last one of the 2023 season. But on this one, we're going to talk about the Darlington throwback paint schemes. Like I said, these are from 2023. We have the Kevin Harvick and we have the Austin Hill, which is crazy because we're going to kick it off with the Austin Hill Bennett car. And this one's actually Kevin Harvick's 2006 Bush Series car. This is actually the paint scheme that he won the Bush Series championship in an 06. So, looking forward to this one. And then we got the Sunny Delight number four Kevin Harvick car for the Forever, which that was his last season. So, what I think the next two waves actually do have a Kevin Harvick in them. So, definitely looking for all the Kevin Harvick cars. Nice looking cars. So, let's actually open the Austin Hill one up. And let's take a closer look at it. If you haven't done so, please like, comment, and subscribe. So let's actually jump into this bad boy and actually take a closer look at the sponsors. Make sure they're not blurry or anything. We got that bad boy opened up. So let's take a closer look at the driver's side here. You got the goods here, which is actually very clear. You got the NASCAR Xfinity Series 75th anniversary sticker. You got NASCAR race car. You got Austin Hill there, but is that actually winter stickers? Never seen that actually on these. That's pretty cool, actually. You have Realtree, you have Bennett, you have United Rentals, GlobalIndustrial.com, and on the back you have the Camaro, you have DriveForBennett.com with the 21. You got the Chevy symbol there. On the back deck, you got Bennett, what was that? Transportation and Logistics. Logistics. How to say that right? You got Bennett on the top with the 21, which we'll do that last. You got Bennett on this side. You got globalindustrial.com, United Rentals. Actually, this is not a bad pink. Oh, we do have a mess up just right there. You can see a little bit of the bubbles in the paint scheme, but it's actually far away. You can't see them, but very up close, you can definitely see them. You got Goodyear there. You got Austin Hill, which his name's going down. Really, it's not straight, but it's not too too bad. I mean, it looks this side looks a heck of a lot better. But you do have that winning stickers, which is kind of weird. I guess they actually when they took the the um, pictures, I guess it he won three races by the time they took these pictures because these are not race versions, so it's kind of weird. You have Sunoco, you have the twenty one, you got Camaro, you got RCR, Chevy symbol, of course, you got. Bennett Transportation and Logistics. Of course, you have no name rail, unfortunately. And they actually did a white interior, so which I like the white interiors because you can actually see inside of them. You got the 21, you are 21 with the roof flaps. Of course, they don't open. You got Bennett there on this side. You got the steering wheel, you got the gear shift, you got the seat. Not a bad looking car. I like this paint scheme. I actually forgot Kevin Harvick actually ran this paint scheme. It's actually a pretty paint scheme. I like the orange and blue. Definitely one I'm glad I picked up. I'm glad they made. This is what underneath looks like. So not too, too bad. So now this was the Xfinity car for the throwback weekend. So now let's actually open up the Kevin Harvick. Number four, Sunny Delight. And actually, I don't think I did the back of it. You have the 24, you got the 22, you got the 2, the 14, the 1, the 4, the 9, and the 22. We have actually the whole entire wave. So definitely cannot open. Definitely some of my favorite is the Chase Briscoe, number 14. Um, you got the 9 of Chase Elliott for Bill Elliott. So, and William Byron, since he did run that Jeff Gordon paint scheme, that looks really nice too. So, let's actually open the Kevin Harvick one up, and let, let's take a closer look at it. We got the Kevin Harvick one actually opened up, so let's actually take a look at the driver's side first. You got Goodyear, which is not on there perfect. I mean, that's really bad. You have the 75th anniversary. 
you have Kevin Harvick on the name rail, which is not straight, unfortunately. You got the Forever. You got gear range there. You got the Four. You got Sunny Delay there. You got Goodyear on the tires. Um, doesn't have the throwback tires, though, unfortunately. You have Hunt Brothers Pizza. I'm trying to see what the middle one is. Can't tell. And you got Sunny D. You got the Ethanol Ring. Of course, you got the Forever right there next to Harvick. And on the back, you have Sunny Delight with the GT, Mobile One, Ford, Four, and not the purple stuff. Whatever the that means. Actually, if you know what not the purple stuff is, please leave that in the comments because I like to know what that means. You got Sunny Delight on the deck rail or the, the uh, trunk. You have the sponsors here. You still can't so see what that middle one is, but you got Sunny D, Hunt Brothers, and they are definitely not straight. This side, they're straight, but this side, they are definitely not straight. Like I said, you got the Goodyear on the tires, which is actually a nice touch. I like that. You got Sunny Delight. You got the Ford. You got the NASCAR 75th Anniversary sticker. You got Kevin Harvick with Forever. You got the gear wrench. You got the Goodyear on the front. You got the Ford. You got the Mustang, which is a little bubbly. You got... Uh, Stuart Haas with the old logo. You got Ford. You got Sunny Delight on the hood. And you have the four on top with roof flaps, which does not open. Trunk, of course, all that does not open. That white interior, which is nice because you can actually see inside. You do not have a gear shifter, but you can see just the outline of it pretty much. You have the steering wheel. You have no dash, unfortunately. You have the seat. So that's pretty much all they put in these. I mean, they are NASCAR authentic. So what do you expect? You just buy them for the paint scheme. This is actually from 2023 Ford Mustang. That's what underneath the car looks like. So it's definitely not a bad looking car. Definitely do like the paint scheme for it. And this was actually, did forget to say, this was actually from the 2001 debut for Kevin Harvick, which it wasn't orange and uh, blue. I think it was the... AOL if I'm not mistaken I might be wrong I might be wrong about that if I am please leave that in the comments but I think that was the AOL paint scheme which should have been blue and I'm trying to remember yellow or green I think I can't remember it but I know I think it was the AOL but if I'm wrong please leave it in the comment section below but I'm kind of curious to make sure if I'm right or wrong about that but I'm not guaranteed sure but this is going to do it for part one. Like I said, we do have all the cars, so definitely going to be doing a review on all of them. I, like I said, I was not expecting actually to get this since not really are Walmart's really the greatest on getting bonus waves. So I was just lucky to even get this one. It's in a little sidekick at Walmart. So definitely glad I was actually able to get this. So if you want to see part two tomorrow, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you again tomorrow with another DotCast review.